right up here, episode or chapter eighty-five. Right to each his own answer. Why is this shit falling now? Okay, that's beautiful. I got I got two hands. Anyway, here it is. So we're starting off. Vegeta still fighting gas, right? Vegeta still getting his shit rocked. He's all about this, you know, ultra ego. I'm, you know, getting my ass beat for more power, this and that, right? This is going on for a few pages, and Vegeta keeps making these comebacks, right? Vegeta gets up, but here's the interesting part. More shit out of Gas's arsenal is revealed. My man can instant transmission people. Not himself, but he can do it to other fucking people now. Never seen that happen before. That's crazy. Reverse instant transmission? That's OD. Goku confirms this on page 7. He, he can use instant teleportation on others? OD, right? So, Goku was like, he was about to step in. Vegeta said, nah, yeet. Hold that. Stay back, right? Vegeta, again... Still getting his shit rocked. But he did give Goku the idea of trying to find his own true Ultra Instinct, right? Because apparently his Ultra Ego continues to evolve. And so Vegeta says, but what of your Ultra Instinct? It seems no different than before. Kind of obviously implying that there ain't nothing special to your shit, right? Okay. So Vegeta still goes in. For these literal ass whoopings. Alright. And so then Goku like powers down completely. And this is where things kind of just get strange. I'll just put it that way. Okay. Because I don't know if you want to just immediately call this an ass pull. I just at this rate I don't know. Because Goku starts fucking meditating. He's praying. He's literally praying. He prays and he puts a dome around him. We don't know what this dome is yet. We're going back to the go. Uh, I might almost call him Gogeta. <laughs> Vegeta and Gas keep fighting. Or I should say, Gas still whooping Vegeta's ass, right? Everybody's favorite, right? Everybody loves when Vegeta loses, right? Crazy. And even, even the siblings, the Heater siblings. They're over there watching on the sidelines and they're getting like, they're sweating, right? Because they really think like Vegeta's about to really come up with some crazy shit. And honestly, one would assume that exact same thought because since last chapter, we were to believe that, all right, well, if Vegeta's really about this whole, I need to get beat up to get stronger shit, well, I'd imagine it'd be some kind of payoff or something along those lines, right? Where he would just use all that you know, built up power and all this crap and use it towards something. We'll get to that. As soon as he says, I am no longer bound by limits. He fucking crashes on the spot. As soon as he was trying to throw another punch at gas. And I feared for this. And I feel like I said this in a previous episode. I was like, listen, I don't know about this whole, I need to get beat up. You know, to get stronger type shit, okay? He's not Broly. He's not a freak. He's not a mutant Saiyan, okay? He is he is the prince of all Saiyans. That's different. He has done definitely come up and has evolved as a character overall. But he is not no Broly, all right? You can have a brand new form all you want, Ultra Ego. You might get a little bit of a fucking boost if, you know, you're taking a few hits here and there. But he wasn't doing nothing. He was still getting his shit rocked. So I'm like, okay, there's always a limit to things. You could be prideful and say what you're saying. Doesn't mean it's fucking true. You know what I'm right? You know what I'm saying? So his ass collapses to the fucking floor. And Gas even, he even says, I'm sure what a lot of people were thinking. A technique that damages the user? How stupid. Clear as day. So again, the heater siblings, they're freaking out. As soon as he was about to get fucking stabbed by one of uh, Gas's created fucking swords. Shout out to looking like the Z sword for this shot. I don't know if that's a little Easter egg or not, but whatever. Vegeta's protected by none other than the Goku Dome. And apparently this, this dome just carried 
Vegeta up and brought him into Goku's dome. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, because what's going on? Okay, you understand? Remember, like, remember when Vegeta got spirit control and he was supposed to be the support character? Yeah, well now Goku's got that shit. So you know, like, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it, right? Just what? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, throw it in me. Just <laughs> another one. <laughs> yep. Another one is correct. So, Gas tries to bombard the fucking Goku Dome with some key blast. Not that doesn't do shit. Okay. Gas says, "Do you plan to hide behind a shield forever? Emerge now, so I may kill you." Goku comes out, and he goes, "Phew, okay." Looking all replenished, low key, right? And then Goku says, yup, this was my only option, so I might as well try it out. So now he goes into the battle, and he takes on some sort of new transformation. That doesn't really look like a new transformation. It's like a pseudo transformation. But it's a new visual. Don't know what you want to call it, if it's a technique, if it's an actual transformation. Who the fuck knows nowadays, because welcome to Dragon Ball. How can we help you? This is the norm. This is literally how this shit goes. Goku literally... So, so, and this is the funny part, right? Because it's a manga and it's black and white. They have to use the characters in the, within the dialogue to explain, like, what fucking color are they got now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit's crazy. Wait, you, I think, you think this is a new form? Shit looks regular. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into all right, it. All right, all right. Another Kaioken, huh? Nah. We'll get into it. We'll fucking get into it. So, Gas asks, another form, silver hair this time, or blue? Goku says, neither. See, I figured out the best transformation to make use of my power. Okay? So, I want you to pay attention here. Because he has the normal eyes in this shot. But when he powers up, the eyes seem to resemble... The similar eyes that, you know, of the primal instinct variety, okay? But his, his hair is still the same Goku-looking hair. It might, it, you know, has a little more texture to it, you know, a little more spiky edge to it. But it's the same shit, okay? Now, Goku then says... For that Ultra Instinct to work, I need my heart to be calm and tranquil. But in this form, I can put my emotions to work for me. And believe me, my heart's not calm now. So then, Gas gets freaked out and he sees Go he sees Bardock again within Goku. Triggered. So, triggered, right? He's triggered. So here's 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 a here's a little side tangent. I would like to now call this form until we have a proper name. Super Saiyan Bardock. Doesn't matter, right? Here we go. Because I don't know what the fuck else to call it. Dude, do you, like... Mm, what do you think Goku's in right now? Dude, I don't fucking know. He's in Omen. He's in Omen, but, like... Is he in Omen? Yes. Dude, this is different. No, Barely. he's just, he's just, he's using it and he has Goku privilege. So, you know, it's better than it was last time. Like there's no, there's no explanation behind it. There's no need. Like he's just, you, you got to process what this means though. This man is so good at ultra instinct that he is able to choose which version he wants to go into at will. Oh, wait a second. I know exactly what this is. This is thriving Ozaru. <laughs> this is literally, bro. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me the fuck I'm wrong. This is not Omen. This is thriving Ozaru <laughs> at its finest. We finally get to see it in natural fucking form. Shout outs to the person who literally <laughs> threw that shit at us. I literally forget who it was, but we'll remember you at some point. Thriving Ozaru, guys. <laughs> The running fucking joke here on the Full Power Podcast literally came true. And guess what? Toyoriyama and Toyotaro confirm, listen to this fucking podcast. So, 
to, to them I'm gonna, we, I'm gonna let that slide That's what we're gonna call this Until we get clarification Cause that's Thriving a, on fucking Zaru bro Yeah It might as well be Cause that's That's the best way to put What's happening right now I, I, I think Yeah so here we go. So he goes, stop looking at me like that. So Gas doesn't like the confidence look that came with the thriving Ozaro, right? So my <laughs> man Goku got his fucking chin up high, right? Head up high. And as soon... So the funny thing is, Gas actually connects with Goku, but Goku connects with his face, and it looks like he took the fucking blunt of that shit. Yo, he made Gas look like fucking Ar like Arthur from Arthur, okay? Every day when you're walking down the street, that one. <laughs> He looked like a fucking aardvark in this. Look at look, look at that shit. You see that shit? He <laughs> fucked his ass up in that shit, okay? Knocked his ass down into the ground. Like, oh, his face was dented, okay? And they're freaking out. The heater, the heat, the, the heater uh, peoples, they jumping out their freaking aircraft. And it looks like Elik is actually a little pissed off because he's like, fuck. A little? It's like, Right. Well, he disappears, and we'll get to that too. So, Goku still on the on the offense, actually gets some shit and uses his instant transmission to get behind them, kicks him back, does a fucking come here. He hits him with it, actually hits him with it, and it looks like Gas got a little toasted here. Okay, looking like my fucking bacon, egg, and cheese. You know what I'm saying? All right, and he's wondering how, what is happening? He's he, he, yo, Gas is just as confused as we are. Let me just tell you this right now. Gas is looking at this thriving Ozaro. He goes, what the fuck is going on with these goddamn Saiyans? Okay, I can understand now why we're trying to destroy them. I wish I wish Goku would just look at him dead in the eyes and just be like, plot armor. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't hold it past them to actually somehow snarkily write that shit in with some sort of dialogue. It happens. It always happens. They, dude... How do you think they fuck? They know how to directly talk to us, the fans, through this fucking story. They be making these characters say some bullshit sometimes, and we can pick that shit out like it's a fucking cherry in a fucking batch. You know what I'm saying? We're not stupid. We know how this shit works, man. Things are planted here and there, and, and that's just how it goes. So Goku goes, seems like I'm just barely stronger than you now. <laughs> <sighs> So let me get this straight. My man that got wished to be the strongest in the fucking universe, right? Is now for the moment weaker than thriving Ozaru Goku. Let's continue. Let's get this fucking shit over with. Okay. He goes, but I don't have long, so let's get this done. So he continues to fuck up gas. Literally, quite literally. He is fucking gas up at this point. Goku's charging in. He's getting he's literally decking him in the face. Vegeta's still in the most favorite position to possibly fucking be in in all of Dragon Ball. On the fucking floor. The right? floor lord face Vegeta. Flat. Face flat. <laughs> The floor, <laughs> the floor of Vegeta. That's <laughs> fucked. That's fucking fucked. Face in the dirt. Prince of Everybody's the floor. Favorite. Right. So, so here's a so here's a crazy part, right? Gas kicks him in the face. That pisses Goku off. So you know what Goku does? He does a fucking mouth blast. And who does mouth blasts all Thriving the time? Thriving Ozaru's. <laughs> dude, there's no of dude. There is nothing else oh my that could perfectly explain or debunk what the fuck we're saying or what we're calling and, this shit. And I, I really got to back up what Uchi's saying right now, too, because like we're like this is fucking hilarious. But at the same time, on a very like on a serious side note, th that's the best way to describe this power right now. That's my man is thriving right now. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he's, he, he, <laughs> He is literally <laughs> He did the Ozaru mouth blast. Like he's Bro, he's stronger than the strongest right now. Currently. You know Even why? If it's for two you seconds. know why? Goku's wish was stronger than Gas's wish. 
Bro, we thought, yo, <laughs> yo, oh, <laughs> dude, yo, 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 check this shit out, ready? Mm -hmm. This, just, just, we were, we were just talking about this shit, okay? Toyotaro will probably listen to us in the Full Power Podcast, right? You gotta stop with this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, listen. He was probably listening to a previous episode where we was talking about all this bullshit, right? Thriving Lazar or all this crap. And he literally, he just wrote in Goku doing a mouth blast. Drew it and everything. He is currently stronger, currently right now. He's stronger than gas. And he's whipping shit out that he's never done before. I mean, this is, this is, at this point, it's just normal, right? Like this, like, this is just, this is just, this is just it. You know, there's no actuallys here. I mean, I mean, this actually isn't actually low key. This is an a factually actually. No, it a was factual a, it, actual. Not. <laughs> it was an actual factual. Actual factual. Okay. All right, we're almost done here. Don't worry, guys. We're all... So, Gas then says, "I sacrifice my pride to become the strongest warrior in the universe." Behold, he summons all his fucking weapons. A Korean like you can never hope to surpass me. Goku charges through all of the weapons. Doesn't care. Doesn't fucking care. Charges through all of them. To the point where this man threw a whole big ass fucking like javelin at him. Goku threw it back. He threw it back. He just threw it fucking back. And then guys like a weapon of my creation could never bring me down. And gets yeeted right in the stomach. Goku with the dynamic entry fucking rider kick. Dude, the ball and chain was crazy. Ball and chain. Ball and chain was huge. Gas is knocked out for the count. The, the heater relatives are freaking out. That's when they notice that Elik is not there. Elik is before gas now. He goes, what do you think you're fucking doing? He goes, e Elik. Elik says, why did I make you into the strongest warrior? Answer me. Gas says to eliminate or to elevate the heaters to the universe's greatest organization. Correct. And what is needed to achieve that? Must kill the Saiyans. Elix says, wrong. Chigo. You have to kill Frieza. We haven't had a Frieza mentioned in a bit. Here we go. Chigo. Dude, see, Kai, this is this is how you know. Oh, mighty Frieza, Otaus! Otaus! Bro, this is how you know. They was <laughs> ever since. Dude, you've been calling this shit out. You've been saying, yo, we haven't had no Frieza mention. I have no, no Frieza mention. Tarot Tarot listening right now. He goes, oh shit. Chapter 85. <laughs> Frieza mention right there. <laughs> Stamping out the sands was only a stepping stone along the way. Now, he's, now he has fucking gas by two hands. He's double gripping his fucking whole dome. He says, so find the resolve to die in battle if you have to. The power I gave you has to be worth more than this pathetic showing. Goku goes, hey you, don't force the guy like that. If he wants to fight us again, we're up to it whenever. So with Goku saying that, this is, this is a confirmation that Goku just defeated Gas. Right? Just defeated Gas. The context here, he literally is saying if he wants another fight, all he has to do is ask. Goku just confirmed. I mean, he's the main character. He says, he whatever he says goes. Okay? Because clearly, my man could just go oh, fucking thriving Ozaru at will now. Okay? He could take a non-canon shit that from the Full Power Podcast, Toyotoro Toriyama listening, and here you, here you go, guys. You're fucking welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Full Power Podcast is influencing the Dragon Ball Super story to this very second. Thriving Ozaru is real, okay? So, Elix says, shut up, Sam. There won't be a next time for gas. At this point, Elix just teased, oh, is that it? Really it for gas? Is he about to just off him or some shit? Probably not. But then Goku notices, what's that meme? And right, bo right before Elik, 
Gas comes out looking like a possessed old head, fucking crazy looking shit. Medusa. Right, yeah, he kind of does look like Medusa. Medusa. And then Elik ends the chapter by saying, I think you see what I mean. So, Kai, what the fuck do you make of this chapter? Well. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I think the first thing I'd like to address that was uh, pretty fucking crazy is the. Uh, instant transmission being done on others from a range and then what looked like to be monkey see monkey do from goku pulling the same type of shit that was uh you know that that might have been a bit of an ass pull in uh in my opinion what what are your thoughts on that i just don't understand like like, Vegeta, his shit seemed believable, you know? Like, this whole Ultra Ego thing, and he's all about this destructive path. And that's, like, that's the path that he's on right now. Like, he is, it is to be, it's, it is to be believed that he is literally on the road to God of Destruction. Everybody will, would think that. Especially with how he's acting, how he's been fighting, and how he's been thinking and going about everything, right? So this whole, like, oh, okay... The more I get beat up, it fuels me. All right, sure, Vegeta. While he's in the fucking dirt, right? It still, it still bothers me that like everyone, everyone thinks that you know, like Vegeta has this special thing. It's like he really doesn't. Goku used destruction already. He's probably gonna figure that shit out. Like he already later on, <sighs> or or somebody, or maybe even like somebody like Beerus and or Whis will like probably tell him like, listen, like tell this who? is really how you're, like. We'll tell Vegeta like how his Ultra Ego like really works. Like it doesn't I mean, just he's... work off of getting him getting beat up to get oh. fueled and shit like that. Like I guarantee you, that's probably what it's gonna come down to. Cause like oh, one... you're right. So they'll they'll he, hit us with since the he lost since he li <gasps> lost this fight essentially and he, he got his face into the dirt again. He's gonna got to go back to to square one Dude. with his Ultra Ego shit and rethink like how to really use it instead of just getting fucking washed <laughs> they're gonna hit us they're gonna hit us with a dumb actually they're just gonna be like well yeah of course but you know you still need time in between <laughs> some dumb shit dude but yeah all so, i fucking know is that this this the, the thriving ozaru shit though like what like what it's a good doing? way to it's a good way to put it but yeah what are we doing like what are we doing like I have I have a question though since like yeah. we, we have no idea where that's going I I this has been on the forefront of my mind since I read the chapter you know 30 minutes ago <laughs> or however long ago <laughs> um, you see that picture of old gas like at the end right pull, pull right. that shit up you didn't see anything weird with that like I'm, I, I can't be the only one to see something crazy and I messaged you about it too I was like I don't I, I don't know if they're going where I think they're going with this where do you think they're going with this? I sent you a picture, but like, look at Gas's face. You don't see oh, that. Oh, is it like on uh, some Moro shit? You think? Yes. Oh my god! See, look that's at, bro, weird. Look at his face. No, I get it. It's very like it's like yeah, it's it's similar to Moro when Moro had the old figure shit, but that's no, like no, reverse. No, 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 because Moro was old like naturally by age or whatever. But we still have something where we had seven three absorb Moro's power and shit like that. We don't know what happened with that. We don't know like w gas could have been modified for all we know, and then he got pumped. Like this is this is the unleashing. Like I just I see this old form. And that facial structure looks a hundred percent Moro to me, and the fact that he said you don't understand, like uh, there won't be a next time for gas. It's like, why not? He's right here. He's powered up. He's strong as fuck. He's not going nowhere. Maybe it's not gas anymore. So, are you trying to say that like gas is low key like somebody else completely now? That's not, that's not it. No. 
Okay, because I was about to say, how the no. fuck are they going to explain that shit? That would make no sense whatsoever. No. I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it. We just know that they have that copy of him and I'm seeing like you know some very similar <laughs> it's very similar design work here so I'm just wondering like is that going to tie in? Cuz that that's another thing, you know, like they keep name dropping Frieza, they've name dropped 73 before, like all that, like nothing's progressing. We just keep seeing new random shit. Right. And nothing's being elaborated on ever. Like they give us like all this extra, like like they give us a little tease of lore here and there and there, and then they just throw it into the wind. <laughs> Dude, it, man, it's it's literally amazing how they could actually keep doing this because I'm just at this rate, chapter eighty five. I would have expected to have seen Granola come back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This goes way back farther than you're thinking because they've been doing this to us since Yamoshi. You'd think that we would have seen that by now. Yeah, I agree. I mean, watch this new form, whether we see it next chapter or whatever. Watch, the, It'll watch be this that. new form of gas, like essentially push Goku to another limit <laughs> outside of this new form that is now a thing. But because Goku doesn't have much longer in his form, apparently. So we're, we'll see next chapter how he handles this new form of gas or whatever the case may be. But, but if he can't handle it, well, he's going to have to fucking dig deep. Dig deep. You know? Yeah. See what I happens. Know. I don't know. Yeah, like this... The chapter overall, like I like, I mentioned to you, I I I'm like really like eh about it, you know, because yeah, like it wasn't, there was nothing that really had me going like oh like, I was more like what the fuck than anything else. Anytime like something happened or something new happened. I mean, the, the theory I've seen on the the old head gas is what I'm going to call him is um, that, you know, he you know, it, it was a wish. And I guess his he used his power up or whatever. And now he's aging because of it the same way that uh, uh, Granola, you know, he aged when he made his wish. We didn't see nothing happen to gas. Mm. So. I mean, that's like, that's another one, like, maybe, like, we have no idea what the hell is happening on any of these panels. We don't know what's good with Vegeta's power-up. We don't know what's good with this new fucking instant transmission. We don't know what's good with that dome of Goku's. And I'm talking both the energy dome and the one inside his head, like, fuck his chrome dome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, we have, we have no idea. This is, this is kind of a mess. It really is. It really is, and I mean, they're giving us more questions that I don't feel like they're gonna just fucking answer anytime soon either. Like, they just be laying down all this, all this shit, and it's really annoying how they're not gonna fucking give us no answers at the same time. It's, it's a very special situation to say the least, and I'm not that big of a fan on it. I just, I also, like, I just think it's personally weird. Like, okay, like, back to the, how you were saying, like, the whole monkey see, monkey do thing, right? Where did fucking Goku see all this dome shit? He's Goku. Did he really need to? <laughs> but, like, uh, not, time not, time, not, not, but, did he really need to? Listen, plot <laughs> armor, I get it. All right, he's a main <laughs> character. I get it. But that's what I'm trying to say is, like, as the main character, any technique or, you know, move that he wants to do, attain, learn, he literally pulls a monkey see, monkey do. And this dates back to the original Dragon Ball, you know, like, and he's done this with so many other techniques. Like, you would think that some of them were his own, but honestly, a like lot the of Kame the techniques, ha. <gasps> yeah, were, or were all transmission. taught or whatever. Yeah, every single one. It's freaking crazy, dude. Uh, I don't know. 
Oh, man, I keep freaking hitting the game. I fell out of trigger. That's, that's crazy, because I, I just... I don't know. Like, this chapter felt like a very, like, all right, well, this is still... Like, I feel like we're officially at a dragging point now. Like, this shit has dragged on far People, too long. But everybody thinks that it's been like that way, like this whole arc. This whole arc has been a drag. It's been nothing but a drag. And I agree with that to a degree. Um, I feel like this this arc really should have been something completely different. But it's still cool. It's just... Should have been over. <laughs> probably. That part, that probably. 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 <laughs> Either at this point or next chapter, it should have been over. But it, probably, it, it seems like it's going to take another fucking two, trap, two, three chapters. Oh, yeah, easily. It's not over. Hey, every time I keep thinking, like, oh, yeah, it's about to be wrapping up. Nah, like, here we go. Gas is now getting a fucking new transformation. Nah, that, like, that, like I, I, can't, I, I will suspect that it Are should we going to see Gogeta? It, it should end... Two to three chapters. I don't think Vegeta got enough power to do that shit. But <laughs> he needs a sensor. He needs a sensor for that to even be a, a possibility. But regardless of that, I, I would say two to three more chapters. And if it's any longer than that, that's literally after fucking the movie at that point, which is kind of OD. But when that's Probably. when the movie that'll be when the movie comes up pretty much or after. But. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, literally another yeah. two chapters will be August. <laughs> so. Yeah, like, we'll get in. And the funny part is, that movie comes out probably on the same day that that chapter will come out. Too. I'll say, I'm gonna say two, three chapters. I'll give them to the movie. Oh, that's that good shit! <laughs>